Looking ahead to next week, a familiar face to Channel 12 viewers. We'll send a letter to Congress on Monday urging them to protect patients from medical malpractice. Former Eyewitness News anchor Pat Masters lost her father to tragedy. Now she's writing Congressman Sheldon Whitehouse to try and prevent the same thing from happening to others. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yacono has the story. There is a campaign launching now for accountability, collaboration and legislation to improve our health care system and create a network to help patients. The motivation is personal, but the campaign is selfless, an effort to create a network to help patients, consumers of the health industry. I get emails and I hear stories all the time from yet another person who is caring, educated, um, involved in their loved one's care, and things didn't go well. And here's a question. What do you do? Pat Masters lost her father to an infection after visiting the hospital for treatment of an unrelated issue. Her daughter also contracted a potentially fatal virus. She says 440,000 people die every year from unintended medical harm. Now a letter to Congress backed by patient advocates calls for both a congressional committee on patient safety and a patient safety board to function much like the National Transportation Safety Board, a body to investigate problems. We all have to collectively pull back that curtain curtain and, and look at the man behind the curtain who is um, not, not helping us. Um, there is deep dysfunction um, that we all have a role in fixing. Masters is quick to say this isn't about causing friction with medical professionals, but rather building a team working toward a goal for better care, education and accountability. Masters says there was an attempt at a National Patient Safety Board back in 1999 that for a number of reasons never happened. She is hopeful, however, that this letter will start a new conversation. In the newsroom, Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News.